Hello, welcome to another TA Tech Tip. Today I'll be giving an overview of the Trios Kinetic software package, which is available as an add-on to our standard Trio software from TA Instruments. This video will focus on the Kinetics features used to analyze DSC data, but the workflow is very similar for analyzing TGA data. The Trios Kinetics software contains a variety of Kinetics models for different types of analysis. This includes single heating rate, or Borchardt and Daniels, dynamic heating rate, or Ozawa, Flynn, and Wall, and isothermal experiments. These models can be used to generate fundamental kinetics parameters about curing, crystallization, and material stability. This also allows predictive kinetics plots to be generated. More information about these models can be found in TA Application Note 073, which is linked below. Selecting the correct model for your kinetic process is a crucial first step to generating good data. The workflow of analyzing kinetics data in TRIOS starts by selecting the Kinetics tab. This tab will be activated when the Kinetics product key has been input into TRIOS. A warning will pop up, reminding you that it's important to remember that kinetics obtained in DSC experiments may not be fully representative of other environments, such as a manufacturing process. It's important to keep this in mind as kinetics data is generated in TRIOS. DSC can give powerful insight into the kinetics of a process, but can be limited to being a comparative tool rather than replicating other conditions. Let's start with the simplest kinetics experiment, a single DSC run at a single heating rate analyzed using the Borchardt Daniels model. Remember that this model makes some important assumptions, such as the reaction being nth order and not autocatalytic. It's also generally only accurate for well behaved reactions where the peak does not have shouldering, overlapping, or other deviation from a smooth peak. Start by opening the file in TRIOS. Select the region of interest, in this case, the exotherm of a thermoset cure of an off the shelf epoxy. Now click Start to convert the file to the correct format for kinetics analysis. Then, select the converted file and pick Borchardt and Daniels nth order in the dropdown. Click Analyze. The Borchardt and Daniels analysis will be applied and the resulting kinetics parameters displayed on the graph. For this model, these include the activation energy, reaction order, free exponential factor, and 60 minute half-life. The reported parameters can be customized like any other TRIOS analysis function by right-clicking on the analysis and going to Edit Analysis and Labels. A similar workflow is used to analyze multi-file DSC kinetics. First, convert each file individually in the region of interest. I've already done that for these five files. Highlight all of the converted files by holding the Shift key. This data was collected at five different heating rates from one degree Celsius per minute to 20 degrees Celsius per minute. So we will use the Flynn Wall Ozawa dynamic heating rate model. The software will recognize the types of files highlighted and only allow the appropriate model to be selected. For example, if you tried to perform an analysis with an isothermal model on files that were not performed with an isothermal segment, the Analyze button will be grayed out. Here I have the Flynn Wall Ozawa selected for the appropriate file type, so I'm able to click Analyze. An Arrhenius plot will automatically be output along with various kinetics parameters. This model assumes a first order reaction. In this case, we get a nice straight line from the five experiments, which is a good indication about our data. After the kinetics analysis has been performed, isoconversion and isothermal predictive plots can also be generated. Select the desired plot from the dropdown and click View. Select a single conversion or temperature, or select a range from the dropdown. Specify the range and the increment and click OK. A series of graphs will be generated. You can plot these in an overlay by right-clicking on the left side and selecting New Overlay Document. Drag the individual graphs on the new overlay to compare the predictive curves. In this video, we overview the features included in the TA Instruments Kinetic Software Package. There are many more experiment types and models that can be used with this software to give you powerful insight into your materials. Please stay tuned for more helpful tech tips, and thank you for your interest.